Namaste. My name is Willy Zebra. I'm an international meditation master. Today I want to speak the meaning of life. Osho said to this, our life has whether a meaning nor no meaning. So what? If we see we get born in a family that we didn't have chosen, we get educated through them that we didn't like, and afterwards <laughs> we learn a skill to make money. And, and then our sexual desires awake and we want that deep love enjoying our sexual desires. And that maybe are our greatest moments in our life. Then we get married have kids and we have to work very hard to sustain our family and so that we suffer. We never have enough money for our family. After our kids are grown up, they leave us, we are alone again. We suffer that we have too less money and so on. And that is a normal life for most of our people. So where is the meaning of life? Okay. We make it a little bit more complicated. We have inside of us a biological clock ticking. And through this, we get forced to get in love and to have sex and to have kids. Because nature wants kids. So if we don't do so, we have to suffer for that. And then we have our religion, philosophies, the spiritual part that should give us a mission, a purpose, a meaning in our life. So the religion were mainly created to market God, enlightenment, moksha, paradise, to exploit the people. And the, the philosophy uh, had been created from people who never lived their own philosophy, who failed. So they didn't fit to us. In all aspects of our lives, they can give us a direction and are partially working for our life, but not for. And then we have a mission. We think we have a mission. And then we see 
Great stars taking suicide, dying early on cancer, drug addiction, and heart attack. And uh, great experts suffer so hard because they never got the sex or not enough sex, <laughs> enough money, enough fame. Because they want always more. And their lack is in their family life, in their health, in their fitness, and with their relationships or friends. Goethe is saying the real happiness is an independent happiness from worldly matters. Then we see the spiritual parts that were mainly created to give our life a direction. And then we hear Krishna, okay, worldly happiness is first paradise and then the hell, and spiritual happiness is in the beginning, first hell and then paradise. I disagree with the last one. Hasyat Inyat Khan said to us, if the spiritual part are not giving us more happiness than we're doing something wrong, or we have chosen the wrong path. So the spiritual part, we find our peace in mind. And we find spiritual happiness, this means bliss and a fulfilling life. Still, we have also to live our worldly desires. We have to balance our spiritual part with our worldly desires. And then we get what we want. Only then. And that is our meaning of life, that we serve God and serve humanity. And this gives us our happiness, our fulfilling life. And not only our selfishness. We increase our sorrow if we live only our selfishness. And for what? And everybody, I think, like to make somebody else happy. Or like to connect it to God. And through this connection of God and serving humanity, we get our purpose in our life. Thank you that I could speak to you and bye.